नमस्कार आचार्य जी सो द क्वेश्चन आई हैड वॉज दैट वेन यू हैव विथ योर फ्रेंड्स यू टू टेन टू डू सम थिंग्स दैट यू नो आर जस्ट अ वेस्ट ऑफ टाइम यू स्टिल डू दैम टू गेट टेम्पररी एंजॉयमेंट एंड मिस आउट ऑन अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स दिस इवेंचुअली लीड्स टू प्रोक्रेस्टिनेशन एंड ड्यू टू प्रोक्रेस्टिनेशन देर आर देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ प्रेशर दैट इज क्रिएटेड ऑन डेड लाइन especially for students who are in college like deadlines are something which trigger us the most on the other hand enjoying the times is also important so how do we maintain a balance between enjoying and managing the deadlines overall time management no managing deadlines in context of what Uh, in context of everything like uh, in terms we we are in college we have assignments there are exams exam is also a deadline to complete a particular syllabus even at work places we have deadlines to achieve a particular target that thing so you are asking how to adhere to the deadlines while yeah. uh, while simultaneously enjoying what you are doing you see a deadline is uh, required only when you are in a system hmm? a corrective system an educational system hmm? the presence of a deadline simply means that you are still not uh, mature enough to do things on your own in a timely way right so the first thing that you need is acknowledgement that uh, you are still not there in terms of loving what you are doing otherwise a deadline wouldn't have been needed in the first place or even if the deadline would have been there would have been irrelevant in spite of its presence it would have had irrelevance we are made to work in deadlines precisely because without deadlines we won't work we would simply procrastinate as you said hmm? so you have to accept the deadlines and you have to accept it knowing that the deadline is useful to you you have to humbly admit that the deadline is not just an external imposition it is actually your internal requirement you need the deadline it's not somebody else's whim being uh, foisted on you as a deadline right so now i know that the deadline is indeed helpful now i also humbly admit that i am not yet somebody who can work purely on her uh, internal inspiration and uh, do something or read something or learn something just on her own hmm? then instead of uh, feeling resentful towards a deadline you actually feel grateful thank god the deadline is there otherwise i wouldn't have learnt at all think of so many things you would have missed learning had deadlines not been there right is that not so in fact probably 90 95% of our knowledge comes riding to us on the back of deadlines does it not so many of our achievements we are so proud of wouldn't have been possible in absence of deadlines translate deadlines into discipline right what does discipline mean it comes from the same root as disciple what does disciple mean a follower a student somebody who wants to learn so deadline is related to discipline discipline is related to love for learning so if you have love for learning you will 
respect deadlines and when you will respect deadlines then it will become possible to enjoy the deadlines then it will not be an either or situation then you will not ask how do I enjoy the work while adhering to the deadlines then adherence to the deadlines itself will become a thing of joy why so joyful because I have a deadline to meet then you will not say that once the deadline has been met, then I will go out and party and have some joy. No. I am joyful in the process of meeting the deadline. Because I know what the deadline means to me. The deadline means love to me. So I am joyful. What am I doing? I have to finish this assignment off by midnight. And I am so joyful. Without the deadline, this thing wouldn't have happened at all. And, and respecting the deadline tells me that I am a sincere, authentic individual. It tells me I have love for learning. It helps me have some self-respect. The more I stick to the deadlines, the greater is the self-respect I cultivate. And you will see, this is how paradoxical it is. You can stick to deadlines only when you have some humility. And the more you stick to deadlines, the more you find your self-respect is deepening. Hmm? Are you getting it? So enjoy, even as you race to meet the deadlines. I didn't get the point, like how is it related to our self-respect? Like, What do you respect yourself for? What do you respect anybody for? Uh, what the person is. What the person is. If the person is sincere, true, authentic, dedicated to her development, won't you respect her? Yes. You are that person when you meet the deadlines. So, won't you respect yourself? Sure. Uh, but I have this another follow-up for this. Uh, so, basically, we have deadlines. So, deadlines is, on the other hand, imposing work on yourself. Like, there is this particular task A. I could complete it very nicely within one, one day, one and a half day. But same task, I have two to three tasks at a time. Like, at a time, I have three tasks. So if I, I don't have any deadlines on my mind, I will do that whole day peacefully. But when I ha have the deadline there, I wake up, I wake up with a pressure that I have the task, I have the deadline. In, in the pressure of doing all the three tasks, I'm not even able to do one task pro properly. Or maybe in the pressure of even one task deadline, I mean, deadline just create pressure on myself. And it's like neither can I sleep and Every time I wake up, it's with something loaded, like this happens. Why, why are the three tasks pending at the same time? Uh, even if there is one task, like it's just a thing that I have that thing in mind that when there are deadlines, like I can do a task normally, but when there are deadlines, that thing... If you, if you could, if, if you could do it normally, yeah? normally, as you said, normally, all on your own, hmm? then don't you think you would have probably already finished it by now? Why would you wait for the last hour or the last day? Surely nobody puts you on a deadline of one day. Whenever submission dates are there with respect to assignments, you get what, one week, 15 days, sometimes two months? Hmm? So why would you be staring at the last day of submission. Had there really been love, you would have completed it well ahead of time and submitted it already. This means you need the deadline. This means that it is just an imaginative fancy that uh, you would complete it even in absence of deadline. You remove the deadline and you find you will do nothing at all. Or maybe you will do one thing, claiming that one thing is your true love. Whereas the fact is that you need to know five other things as well. 
maybe without knowing those five other things, you cannot even know that one thing you claim to be in love with. Hmm? So, so I'm saying two things here, please. One, when you are really mature and really independent, then you don't need deadlines at all. Two, if you are not yet that mature, then deadlines are something you should actually love because deadlines are aiding your journey towards learning. A day will come when nobody will give you deadlines. A day will come when you will be all on your own. You know, and when you are all on your own, then usually what do you do? You give deadlines to yourself. <laughs> and that's a good thing to do. It's a good thing to do because human beings are never going to be perfect. There would always remain that lazy ego within with all its fake excuses, looking for alibis to procrastinate, hide here, do there something, some mischief, some nonsense with all its absurd arguments. So you better put paid to all that by giving yourself a hard deadline. This has to be done by this date, full stop. Thank you. So, uh, Acharya ji, uh, another question that I wanted to ask you is that that um, it sometimes happen like it has happened with me that uh, if a senior or a colleague of mine, uh, they have like they have done something that really offended me, but uh, like I conveyed it to them later, not at the present moment, but in the heat of the moment, they said something that I did not like, and I conveyed it to them later. So out of like I don't know out of guilt or what, they started making up for it. They started like interacting with me more and uh, telling me that uh, yeah, uh, like spending time with me so that uh, I may come back to the same level with them that I was before, before the incident happened. But I'm not feeling like uh, in, I'm not able to convince myself to forgive them for that, like to go back to the same level. So uh, at this point, I don't even want to disrespect that person. So what should I exactly do? You must be having something good to do in your life, no? Or is that person, that colleague, that senior, is that everything to your life? No. So many people say such wild things to me every day. Hmm? If I start remembering all that, then I am done. This is not even a question of for forgiving. You forgive someone only when you at least remember the hurt. Hmm? <laughs> but then it's not really possible to go back on the same level. Like I've known that person before. No, but why do you why do you want to have any level with I do not know which person? Why do you want to have this leveling thing with <laughs> this person you are referring to? Go back to my first question. There must be something worthwhile you have to do in life, right? Why don't you focus on that? Which, which year uh, are you in? Second year. Second year. So, Khalakpur campus. How many sports are you currently playing? It's, it's not uh, an allegation, I just want to know. sports two sports and there are facilities for many more there must be so many cultural clubs right dramatics debating there would be yeah. a film society there would probably be a literature club hmm? there would be a dance society probably when will you make use of all these opportunities? If you just keep remembering all these trivial things that happen almost daily with everybody, when will you rise to make something of your life? 
no you are already in the second year you have just entered the second year is it about to be completed about to be completed oh half the time already gone oh now now something will happen in the third year as well then something else will happen in the fourth year and that will be all to your iit story how nice does it sound what did you do in iit i got offended four times i got offended four times and i spent four years trying to forget and forgive and what not you know that some bollywood story how many hours have you spent in the library this is the time to delve into the greatest literature from across the world till you are in your class 12th all you all you read is your erodo and resni khalide those were the books in my time i don't know what goes now so all you read is these pcm books now is the time to deepen your personality you know to know of all the great things that are there in the world and you are squandering this time from here you will probably enter some workplace and they will drive you towards productivity and you will be working what 10 hours a day and again you will find you don't have enough time for self development after that probably those those usual things concerning marriage and kids and such things will come and again you will find yourself short of time don't allow this to just pass by hold every moment by the collar and extract the maximum value you can and the best way to squander time is by engaging yourself emotionally in some little thing and continuously thinking about it engaging yourself in some little thing uh, these are very precious years very very precious years learn as much as you can develop yourself as much as you can broaden your personality like the branches of a tree grow in all possible directions hmm? all these things you know the senior boy junior girl leave it to the filmmakers i'm sorry did i say something that hurt i didn't mean to No. Hmm? I just want you to make the best use of your time. Huh? That's all. Thank you.